Great news for 3D's Max Cinema 4D and Maya users. Team Boxes plugin all together cost 50,000 USD. But the good news is that they just released everything for free. All the $50,000 plugin has been made free, right? If you've worked on a couple of blockbuster movies, you definitely have used any of Team Boxes plugin, ranging from Frost, X Mesh, Kratatoa, Sekoa, and Deadline. These plugins fall within some of the best you would use as a 3D artist. Think Box 2 simplified rendering, VFX, and simulation workflow and are used by top studios across the world. But there is a problem. I hear most people are unable to download the plugins. I'm not sure why that's happening, so I'm going to spend less than two minutes to explain what each plugin does and the best possible way to download them. Without wasting any more time, let's... The first plugin on my list is Kratatua, designed to process and render millions and even billions of particles. Amazon Web Services Thinkbox Kratatua provides a pipeline for acquiring, caching, transforming, modifying, shading, and rendering vast quantities of particles. Kratatua helps artists render natural phenomena like dust, smoke, ocean foam, viscous liquid, and even solid objects to production quality standard. Kratatua has been used in production to generate visual effects and elements for movies like Avatar, Harry Potter and the Deadly Halo 2, The Avengers, and Star Trek Into Darkness. Kratatua is available for Autodesk 3D Smart, Autodesk Maya, Cinema 4D, or a standalone particle renderer with a powerful C API which can be used to connect the renderer to 3D and 2D applications such as Side Effects Houdini, The Foundry's Nuke, Magazine, and more. Frost is very easy to use. Frost generates a single mesh from particles, vertex clouds, object positions, and point data files using various ISO surface and geometric cloning technique. Taking full advantage of multi-core processes, Frost is able to produce polygon meshes from millions of points in a matter of seconds without excessive memory usage. Frost is available for Autodesk 3D Max only. The easy to use particle simulator for Autodesk 3D Max. Amazon Web Services Thinkbox Talk includes an extensible procedural geometry modifier, adding artist friendly channel editing workflows similar to node based image compositing applications. Supported sources include simulations from film FX, particle flows, Seba's Thinking Particles, 3D Max 4 Space Warp, and formats like PRT and RealFlow Bin. If you have slow or heavy 3D assets, or if you are faced with the need to transfer data between creative applications and maintain file functionality, Amazon Web Services Thinkbox X Mesh can help. From animators to architects, anyone working with large files in Autodesk 3D Max, Autodesk Maya, or the Foundry Nuke would benefit from adding X Mesh to their pipeline. X Mesh saves animated scenes geometry in a compressed format, yielding smaller files for faster loading, manipulation, and sharing across facilities and applications. XMesh files are significantly smaller than alternative geometry baking solutions, so production requires less storage space, which benefits both local and remote rendering. Unchanging channel data can be shared between frames, eliminating over time data duplications. Rendering on Amazon Web Service provides you with the flexibility to control how quick you want to complete your project. Once your rendering pipeline is integrated with Amazon Web Service, you can scale rendering workflows to thousands or even tens of thousands of cores in minutes. You can also scale down just as quickly as you scale up, providing incredible compute elasticity and cost control. With the compute capacity of Amazon Web Service, rendering doesn't have to be a bottleneck for creative studios to deliver projects on time. This ability to scale also means studios can take on more work and render more projects at the same time. Okay, so now let's check out the procedure on how to download them for free. Kindly visit the download page using the link provided in my description below. It's actually a complete shortcut direct link to the download page straight up. Now, before you get access to the download page, you would be asked to create an Amazon Web Service account if you don't have one. But if you already have one, all you need to do is to log in.
Note, if you are a first timer, you will be asked for credit card details when creating your first account. On the billing information page, enter the information about your payment method and then choose verify and add. One thing to keep in mind is you can't proceed with the sign-in process until you add a valid payment method. From this page, you will be sent to another page where you will be asked to verify your phone number. That's the easiest part and you are done. Now, if you don't have any account or you aren't interested in going through all these processes, kindly use the Google Drive link in my description below to download them directly. Now, the downside to using the Google Drive link provided in my description below is that I won't be following up to keep updating the link I've shared, which means if there is any update to any of the plugins, you aren't going to get it. You'll still be stuck with the versions I provided in the Google Drive link. But if you are someone who cares less about updates, then sure, the Google Drive link is going to be your easiest escape. Until my next video, peace out.